Hi, I'm Mr. Kronk, the Social Studies Department Supervisor, and we're, we have a ton of exciting courses we'd like you to consider as you register for courses for next year. We have three new courses, uh, Debating Current Events, Human Rights and Social Justice, and a Psychology Lab that would fulfill Capstone that we hope you consider. The rest of this video will go over the rest of our course offerings. Please enjoy the video. If you have any questions after the video, please stop by my room 1106 or ask any of the Social Studies teachers. Thank you. I'm Mrs. Adamo, and I'm here to introduce you to AP U.S. History, commonly known as APUSH. We cover the topics from Christopher Columbus to present day. With us here today are past and present students that are going to introduce you to the course. We'll take time to talk to them now. Thank you. Hi, I'm Audrey. Yo, I'm Mahad. I'm Jacob. And we're here to talk to you about APUSH. So I took APUSH last year and I really enjoyed the class. Ms. Adamo does a great job of preparing you for the AP exam and it really helps you to prepare for senior year. It's also a great class to have on your resume as junior year because as you apply to colleges, they like to see that you can take a class that combines critical thinking and reasoning skills. Hi, so I also took APUSH with Audrey last year. It was a very fun class. I'm here to address many of the misconceptions about the class. I also took two AP classes alongside APUSH, and many may perceive APUSH as a class with lots of work and reading, but it gets a lot easier, and once you start reading and taking notes, you develop better skills, and you get a lot better at it, and it doesn't take as long, and that's pretty much it. People think APUSH is boring because history is boring, but I'm here to tell you that Miss Adamo makes history fun. We do lots of fun review activities in class, such as games and team building activities. Hi, I'm Mr. Line, I teach AP Gov. Hi, I'm Mrs. Wilkos. I'll be teaching AP Gov next year. I got some students that want to share some thoughts. Hi. Hey again. <laughs> I'm Jacob. Hi, I'm Mahat. I'm Audrey. And we're here to talk to you about AP Gov. AP Government and Politics is one of the only AP classes you can take as a sophomore, and it gives you great college level class experience. As a U.S. citizen, it's important to know about how your government works, and AP Gov teaches you a lot about the political process and how to get involved. AP Gov is really enjoyable because it combines current events and different political events throughout history. So you're going to read a textbook, but you're also going to be able to have great discussions with your peers about things that are happening now and basic fundamental ideas of democracy. Hi, I'm Mrs. Wilkos and I teach AP World History. It's typically a senior class, and but it's open to juniors and seniors and we cover from the years 1200 to present day in all different regions of the world. Hi, my name is Julia. I took AP World as a junior, and it's a really fun and engaging class where we do activities such as putting characters like Genghis Khan on trial or doing autopsies of empires. And it's really manageable with other AP classes because the reading is not challenging and it's really engaging. So I always felt that real history is a great way to learn about history. It's a fun thing. You come in, you watch movies, we talk about the movies. And you get a real sense. I've had students say they've learned more in real history than they learned in the regular history classes. What are some of the movies we watch? We watch Titanic because we want to learn about women and social norms and how they're changing. We we'll watch The Boy in Striped Pajamas when we talk about the Holocaust. We get a real feel for what happened and watch some other movies as well. Eye in the Sky is about the Middle East. We'll talk about what drone warfare is, what are the different dynamics that are going on there. Uh, 12 Years a Slave is a great way to approach uh, slavery, talk about the history that was connected with that. It's a really moving movie. And uh, we'll watch Saving Private Ryan. We'll learn about World War II and the dynamics of what was going on there. Uh, we also watch something like Darkest Hour with Winston Churchill, which is moving as well. Hopefully you'll take real history. Uh, it's a fun sort of break in the day. Hi, my name's Audrey and I took sociology as a senior. It's a half year course and it's really enjoyable because you get to learn about the things you see in everyday, li in everyday life with social patterns and different behaviors of people and you get to understand them now using real terms and terminology. But Dr. Basso teaches it, he's a great teacher and I would definitely recommend taking it. Um, and it's really helpful for your senior year if you have to get some more credits so you can graduate. Psychology is a scientific study of behavior and mental processes. If you have an interest in analyzing other people's behaviors and gaining an understanding of why people do what they do, then Introduction to Psychology would be a great course for you. It's a half year long course. It prepares people for AP Psychology or going into college or maybe thinking about being in the field. There is homework, there are some tests, but at the same time I think you'll learn a lot about other people and you'll learn a lot about behaviors. So it's a great place to explore those topics. 
Hi, I'm Mrs. Wilkos. Intro to Law is a half-year course that we offer in the Social Studies Department. Um, it's a great course. It's offered to sophomores, juniors, and seniors. We learn about court cases, uh, criminal justice, uh, the police role in investigation, attorneys' roles uh, in for prosecution as well as defense, and we go on some fun field trips um, to the courthouse and to the prison as well. Um, so take the course if you enjoy learning about law. Are you interested in taking a challenging course that may count for college credit? Are you fascinated by the behaviors of others? Do you ever wonder if there are any theories that would explain the reason why your parents raised you the way that they did? Do you ever sit down and wonder why one person might be diagnosed with something and the other person might not? If you're wondering about these different topics, then possibly AP Psychology is the course for you. AP Psychology is a college level course that explores the scientific study of behavior and mental processes. Did you know that your brain is made up of 86 billion neurons and that these are the basic building blocks of our nervous system? So thinking and memory all comes down to these little wisps of jelly that are creating electrical charges and neurotransmitters. Whoa, that's cool. <laughs> the course is a year-long course. Um, there is homework, so you will have nightly modules that you need to complete. And there are regular tests. These tests will prepare you to take the AP exam at the end of the year. This course will also teach you a great deal about yourself and all the people around you. So let's get those neurons firing and get down there to register for AP Psychology. Next year, we are introducing a new course called Psychology Lab. It is open to students who have taken Introduction to Psychology or AP Psychology, and it will allow you to explore topics that possibly you were not able to do within the course itself. It will also possibly count for capstone credit, so you will work on your capstone project while you are in the course. The beginning of the course will take a look at research, and you will explore your own experiment. The second half of the course will take a look at disorders, and you'll study topics like stigma and exact reasons for why disorders occur. This information will be used to put together your capstone project and you will present at the end of the term. Thank you.